first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to kind of rearrange things. Um, so I'm going to put this one and this one next to each other and this one and this one next to each other because I see that the second two have A's involved and uh, these two have twos involved and you got the Y squareds too. You can do this in actually a lot of different ways. Um, so I'm going to put these together, 2y squared minus 2z and uh, az and negative a y squared. Okay, so what can I take out of the first two? I can take out a 2 and I'm left with a y squared minus z. Okay, and then out of the second one, I can take out an a and I'm left with a z minus y squared. Now, that's a problem because see how they're not exactly the same? <coughs> but I can actually make them the same. Um, and the way to make them the same is, the problem is that I, I want to get it to be a positive y squared here and a negative z to match that one. Um, so if actually I pull, if I make this a negative a and pull a negative out, that makes this negative and this positive, which makes it work. So that would be two minus a is my uh, leftovers here. And the takeout that's in common is the y squared minus z. Um, this one was negative z plus y squared, but those are the same thing, because I can just rearrange it. Again, I prefer the wing way. I'm guessing you do too. This. Okay. Um, so if we do it the wing way, we're gonna put stuff in here. This is two y squared. I'm going to put the other y squared right next to it because I think that's probably important that their y squareds are together. I'm going to put the negative 2z down here because then they both have 2s this way, and then this one can be az. So you can put them in any order you want. Okay, now i got to figure out what I need to take out. So out of those two right there, I'm going to take out a 2, which means a y squared goes over here to make this 2y squared. I've got a y squared over here, which means I need a minus a right there. I've got a negative a, but I'm trying to get a positive az, so this must be a negative z, because a negative times a negative makes a positive. a times z is az. And then down here we got 2 and negative z, and that works out too. So my answer here is 2 minus a times y squared minus z, which is exactly what I got on the first one. Okay, those are all of the examples. Um, just for kicks, uh, let's do one more. Only I'm not going to do it. Let's, let's do an I'm a winner sign for this, okay? So um, 4x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2x minus 1. Uh, do it the wing way, do it the grouping way, whatever you prefer. Um, I mean, this is all grouping, but do it the book way or the wing way. Um, and tell me, what does that factor out to? Um, I will give I'm a winner signs to the first four people who uh, get it right and let me know. All right, your homework for the night is page 43, numbers 11 through 20 and 29 through 32. Pretty short assignment, but I think short is okay today. All right, guys, good luck. Please get back into the Teams chat and talk to me if you need help. I'd be happy to help you. Bye.